Welcome to another wonderful episode here, Jaws. Podiatry, very interesting case. Interesting, but yet unfortunate. Very young patient who approximately one year ago, out of nowhere, started having pain to the right heel. The patient did seek medical care with, uh, we'll say, physician number one. Uh, physician number one uh, recommended inject an, an in orthotics. Orthotics. Physician number one, orthotics. Diagnosis, plantar fasciitis. Am I correct? Yes. Um, for whatever reason, we will just, the cliff note version, second opinion, physician number two. New shoes. New shoes. And no injection. Am I right? No, no injection. That was physician number one. A cortisone injection? No, never. No. So physician number one? Uh, plantar fasciitis with no injection. Physician number two, change in shoe gear? No injections. No injection, nothing else. The patient did not feel comfortable going back to physician number two. Let's go to physician number three. Physician number three, the patient, this was about... Two, two months, you would say two months? Yeah. Two months ago, physician number three for a third opinion. Physician number three, the patient obviously was, uh, you know, you, as everyone can imagine, this was started a year ago. Two months ago, um, you know, she really um, <clears throat> expressed her frustration. There has, doctor, there has to be something wrong with my foot. And, you know, because of that, doctor number three um, did the right thing and ordered, bum, 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 an MRI of the foot. Bum, 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 which revealed a fracture of the calcaneus, a non-displaced comminuted. Comminuted means um, it's just sort of all little little fragments, right? Um, the, the calcaneus, our heel bone, right? What I tell patients, imagine a hard boiled egg, right? Um, it's got a very, very thin shell and it's mushy in, in the inside, right? Um, historically, wh where do we see a lot of the calcaneal fractures? Traumatic events. But this particular case, a little bit atypical. There was no trauma, there was nothing. The patient um, is not an avid runner per se, no marathon, nothing that would explain why she would end up with a calcaneal fracture. So I got a call from uh, physician number three. Uh, by the way, the patient was casted. They, they implemented some other treatments, including but not limited to the um, uh, an external bone stimulator etc etc again total you know a below the knee cast cast was removed still pain they decided to repeat the mri and um the fracture is still there it is healing but it is it is healing very very slowly so podiatrist number three gives me a call and says hey wagner i need your help you know uh do you think that any type of regenerative treatment would expedite or help the healing of this fracture? And I said, you know, send the patient over and, and we'll uh, definitely assess and address and I'll, and I'll call you back. So here we are. The patient is an excellent candidate uh, for a platelet-rich plasma injection, which we're gonna be, you know, doing today to continue our efforts to maximize improvement and minimize any long-term complications. The patient is sleeping. We gave the patient a little something to relax, so she's very relaxed, which is great because, like I've said it before, um, and let me just put her seat tilt a little bit back, just like that, and just like that. <clears throat> so, a, so that's exactly, so I recommend it, you know, it's really hard if anyone is thinking, well, how do you, Dr. Wagner, how are you going to inject the, the calcaneus, right? You know, we took a look at the, you know, um, 
I spoke to the radiologist. I got a, a little bit of more uh, intel, more information on you know exactly where not only is it demarcated already, which we did that before we numbed the the entire uh, area, but you know it gives us um, a better idea of 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 the anatomy of the fracture itself. So what we're doing today is. You know, are we taking the needle and pushing it into inside into the calcaneus? No. In my mind, I, I already know because um, because of the radiologist, um, I already know exactly kind of like what what does the structure of the calcaneus looks like. So without further ado, I know I did a lot of talking, but I wanted to give everyone a law, you know, a very very um, clear history on why we're doing why we're doing this procedure on this patient okay so we're going to start here okay and there's a little, a little bit of blood here that's because uh, we basically anesthetized the entire the entire foot is completely totally numb it's not to say that the patient may feel a little discomfort but like I said before, we gave the patient a little, a little anxiolytic, something to really relax. She's really relaxed. Maybe too relaxed. And dad's here with us today as well, so. So she doesn't need to open her eyes, but I'm gonna speak to the patient. I'm gonna say we're gonna go ahead and, and go ahead and start you know, injecting the PRP in the demarcated areas. Okay. And if you do feel any discomfort, just please let me know. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we'll slow down a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Are you okay? So we'll go ahead. A little alcohol. Feels cold. Okay. We're essentially marinating all the areas. <clears throat> Again, it's a comminuted fracture. There's not one line, there's not two, there's many. So we're gonna try to, um, unlike when we do the microtonotomy, the, the deep dry needling, we're not doing that here. What we're essentially doing is just marinating everything to continue that, that healing process, okay? Um, any discomfort here? No. no? Okay, so. Okay, so we'll start, you know, we'll kind of just go like this. And we're gonna kind of redirect a little bit this way. There we go. Just, can you tell me when you start? Okay, I will. I will definitely tell you when we start. I'll tell you when we start. Okay, we'll just clean the area. We'll clean this a little bit as well. side here before we start the other side again okay let's come around here let's clean this up a little bit here okay you know if anyone is wondering why they call it liquid gold it's you know the color and that's number one. Number two, there's just, again, platelet-rich plasma. The platelets contain a lot of growth factors, a lot of you know important cells that aid in, in the regeneration, the healing of tissue, bone, fractures, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So we're just gonna kind of go like this. And again, okay. On this side, on the side, on, on the lateral aspect, the Calcaneus is more superficial because of the actual anatomy of the calcaneus. 
you know, just for a split second, imagine having this for one year, right? Not all doctors, not all surgeons are created equal. Ladies and gentlemen, do your homework. Do your due diligence, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I think that's the most important thing. It is extremely important. There's nothing wrong, right? Um, even with when, when, when my family members have issues of some sort, they go somewhere, they call me up. I say, just get a simple, you know, a second opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. There are times even when I um, send, I do have dear friends of mine that if I have a, a, a case, a patient that, you know, for whatever reason may not be getting better, I send the patient for a second opinion. And, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's very, very important. We always, we always do the right thing, right? And that's part of the oath. Mm -hmm. Do no harm. I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Again, once again, we're using PRP, platelet-rich plasma. Very atypical, you know, clinical presentation. A calcaneal fracture, a fracture of the heel bone. Great case. Like always, www.jawspediatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojam, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook. And last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. Have a wonderful day, everyone.